called standing jackknife. You're gonna start with the dumbbell above your head, held just above your head, and you're basically just going to do a standing crunch. And you'll see it really, really works those upper abs and you have to stay balanced on the board. So just bend over and really flex that upper core and that upper, those upper abs. And that is the standing jackknife. We're now going to demonstrate how you do the plank. Now when doing the plank, you can either put your hands directly on top of the boards flat or put your fingers through the handles as Sylvia is doing. And the key with the plank is to keep a straight line in your back. With this workout, you're really working the shoulders. You can see those working, those that lower back, the abs, the glutes, and the hamstrings, all with one move. But if you'd like to take it up a notch, you can also do the plank pike. This is where you pike up on your tippy toes and this is really going to work those upper abs. Almost like a crunch where you really flex those upper abs as you're contracting up. So that is the plank and the plank pike. This move is called plank walks and it really works those obliques. So get, you just get down in your normal plank stance and all you simply do is start to walk in a semi-circle. And actually, and you can go all the way around, and then when you get to the end, you go back. And so you're working your left side obliques back into the right side obliques. This is a killer workout for that core. Now we're going to do plank cross-unders. And this is just simply where you bring your knee up and under to the opposite elbow. Really, once again, working those lower abs and those obliques to get that wonderful V cut. This move is called plank jacks, and it's just like a jumping jack. You start in your basic plank, and then you jump your feet out and back in. Once again, working that whole entire core, and especially those obliques. We're gonna demonstrate mountain climbers. Once again, start in the basic plank position, and then basically start to run. And yep, Lauren will show you exactly how it's done. Pull in those lower abs as you're doing the mountain climbers. You can go as fast or as slow as you'd like. This move is called plank knee ups, and it's just like the mountain climbers, you just go a little bit slower, pull those knee up, knees up, and flex those lower abs as you're doing this move. It's one of the lower ab workouts. Now we're going to demonstrate the knee up and in. Basically, just like the mountain climbers, you're gonna pull your knee up and then twist your torso. So not only are you working those lower abs, but you're really, really working those oblique muscles with this move. This move is called plank kick throughs. It's exactly how it sounds. You take your leg, kick it through, and tap your toe on the other side. This works your obliques and those lower abs. Now we're gonna show you Spider-Man planks, which are one of my favorites. You're gonna bring your knee up and twist the board down and then meet your knee with your elbow. And the beauty of doing these on the Simply Fit board is that you're actually able to twist the board as you're bringing your knee up, which gives you an even more intense workout on those oblique muscles. We'll now demonstrate wood choppers. You take one dumbbell, you're gonna hold it with both hands, start on one side of your head, and just simply twist down like you're chopping wood. You can see that you work your obliques like crazy, and then you can simply switch sides to work the other oblique. Now we'll demonstrate screaming squats. This is taking the squat to the next level. You're gonna bend down in a squat as low as you can go, hold it, and then rock the board back and forth. Those are gonna fire those hamstrings and give you that nice curve. This move is called the standing rock. It's a beginner squat, if you will. It really works those legs, but it's not so intense and you don't have to squat down so far. So all you do is bend your knees slightly and then just rock the board back and forth. Believe me, after a little bit, you'll start to feel it in those hamstrings. Now we're gonna demonstrate bridges. A lot of people may call them hip thrusts. They're one of my favorite moves. Put your feet on the boards and just simply lift your hips up until you feel it right in those glutes. And then you lower back down and lift back up. These are regular bridges. If you want to take it to the next level, we do what's called twisted bridges, where you hold the regular bridge and start to twist the board. Now this will really start to burn. And our third bridge move is called burning bridges, where you hold it and then you start to rock the board back and forth. The key is keeping your core tight and your glutes tight and that hip thrust upward. 
Donkey kicks are another amazing glute workout. You start in your basic plank. You simply bring your upper leg up a little more. There you go. And then you'll squeeze up and lower and squeeze up. You're really gonna get that definition between your glutes and your hamstring disease. If you are a beginner and want to start getting that muscle definition, you can start with toe taps. Simply keep your legs straight, lift it up, and tap your toe as you come back down. Just be sure to squeeze those glutes at the top. 